Yes, the play's about uh, a character, John, who is in a relationship with uh, his boyfriend, and they have a bit of trouble, and he breaks up with that boyfriend, and then uh, accidentally falls in love with a woman. Then goes back to his boyfriend and says, I've fallen in love with a woman, and they get into a love triangle, and then they have to resolve it. So the play is about um, uh, an excess of love, what it's like to be in love with two people at the same time, which I think a lot of people have experienced. Um, and beyond that, and through that, how we identify ourselves and how much we identify ourselves, how much we know ourselves, and do we need to identify ourselves? And uh, those, are the, those are the themes. And then there's also a lot of jokes, and it's funny, hopefully. I think because I was writing it in Mexico and the form of the play is like a cockfight. And so I thought, and then of course it becomes about sexuality. And then the title became quite hard to avoid. And a friend of mine said, if you call it this, you will either regret it for the rest of your life or, or you know, if it's successful, you, then great. But it's a high risk gamble. It's provocative. It sums up the show, I think. It means many things. It's front footed and it gets your attention. And I think the experience of playing it, and I think for the audience as well, is that it is surprising every step of the way, and it means one thing, but also multiple other things. It becomes, you know, it's not necessarily just about sexuality, it transcends that, and it becomes about sort of human existentialism, I think. Um, so it's sort of fascinating, so yeah, great name. Oh, working with Marianne is just an absolute dream. I mean, she's brilliant. I've wanted to work with her for a long time. I just think everything she touches is gold. And so getting the opportunity to work with her has been a real dream. And she's just brilliant. She just creates an amazing rehearsal room, an amazing space, which was very needed, especially coming back after lockdowns and going back into the rehearsal room and us all being a bit rusty. Um, it was just brilliant, really. I think I'm a bit of a Luddite, really, so, um, you know, I am I think maybe it's it's different now, but I think the play's relevant about sexual identity and identity and how people think. I think it's relevant, very relevant. Yeah, I think we, we're, we're moving in the right direction. I think definitely, like, the conversations around identity and sexuality are much more in the forefront now than they probably were 12, 13 years ago when it was written, so I think Mike was ahead of his time, really. Don't Google cock. Cock play Google, I'm telling you. <laughs>